How's it going YouTube? My name is Blake Yarbrough and welcome back. Today is going to be another exciting video and just like Conor McGregor, 2020 is going to be a season. This year I am looking to bring you guys some new content, some early sneakers, definitely some early sneakers. So I'd like to start this video off by thanking you guys. We are so close to 4,000 subscribers, so close to 4,000. I think we're like 20 or 30. So if you're not already, hit that subscribe button down below. You do not want to miss the videos that are coming this year. And to everyone who has already subscribed, to those that share, comment, like my videos, I appreciate each and every one of you. I really want to stress that this year as well. You guys mean so much to me and I really appreciate all the support, so thank you. And now let's get into the video. As many of you know, if you are into sneakers, if you are a sneakerhead, you know that sneakers can reach astronomical prices. And in the past, sneaker companies achieved that by making shoes very, very limited. If the shoe wasn't limited, then maybe it was a sneaker collab, a collaboration with either another artist or another company. Here is my bingo cat, Griffey. He hasn't been in a video in quite some time, but he decided to jump in on this one, which he is always welcome. But like I was saying, we've definitely seen an increase in sneaker collabs over the last two to three years with big names in the fashion industry like Virgil Abloh, Jerry Lorenzo, and now we're seeing high fashion names like Louis Vuitton and even Dior is getting into the sneaker game. And that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about today, the top five most expensive sneakers releasing in 2020. Let's go ahead and start it off with a sneaker that has already been released. This is the Tom Sachs Nike Mars Yard 2.0. Originally, this shoe released in 2017 in very, very limited numbers. However, the resale market at the time was between $500 to $800. And then in 2018, 2019, we saw the resale prices steadily climb to an astronomical $4,500. Yes, this shoe right here in this size right now is selling for $4,500. Now let me go ahead and tell you that I did not pay anywhere near that price. I paid less than a third of that price. This is what I choose to spend my hard earned money on because sneakers are my passion guys. This is what I really care about. And yes, hard earned being the keywords there. I work very hard to be able to buy shoes like this. I don't have money just handed to me. And to be honest with you, I've cut way back on the amount of sneakers that I buy for resale prices. I fell in love with the original pair, which was back from 2012. And while I still think the original version looks better, I'm very happy to have these. I wear them all the time. As you can see right here, I wear these all the time. I love this shoe. And if you're gonna spend a lot of money on a pair of shoes, honestly, my mentality now, which used to be much different, is that you need to wear it. You need to get the use out of it because eventually one day this shoe will completely fall apart. Now, supposedly this shoe is releasing again this year. There's no confirmed date. It's just that it's supposed to release in the springtime. Also again, in very, very, very limited numbers. So I don't think the resale prices will be affected very much. As I mentioned earlier, there are high fashion brands getting into the mainstream sneaker game. And one of those brands is Dior. Look at these Dior Jordan 1s. I've got them right here, right in front of me. Guys, this is crazy. And these couldn't be more fake. Yes, guys, this is a fake pair of Dior Jordan 1s. I wanted to use it in my video though, so I could show you guys kind of what it's gonna look like. These aren't perfect replicas, but they're pretty decent. Honestly, this Jordan 1 looks a lot like the New York to Paris Jordan 1 SB that released. The color scheme of it looks very similar with the white and the gray. However, I'm sure this Dior pair is going to have very, very high quality Italian leather. But I wanted to show you guys these, just kind of be funny. This is one of my friend's pairs. And if you haven't seen his video, there will be a link in the description below. Also, you can click right here and watch this video as well. Um, but this is just a fake pair, just for fun. However, this is going to be one of the biggest sneaker releases of 2020. I don't know if it'll be sneaker of the year, at least in my opinion. I don't know how I feel about giving a, a very limited collab like this sneaker of the year. Um, it just doesn't really feel right to me. I feel like it should be a wider release shoe that wins sneaker of the year, but these are going to be super hype and super expensive very very expensive sneaker we still don't know what the retail is going to be but everybody's saying between 1200 to two thousand dollars as a retail 
price. That is absolutely insane. And so I don't know how much resale will be. It's going to depend on how many pairs are produced. Supposedly it's gonna be less than 5,000, which means the resale prices are going to be higher than $2,000. Griffey, what do you think? Real or fake? He says fake. This is definitely going to be one of the biggest shoes of the year, the Air Jordan 1 Dior in the high top cut, but it doesn't look like Dior is going to stop there. They are also going to give us a low top version. At least we're seeing it all over Instagram. And let me give you my probably unpopular opinion. I actually like the low tops better. Yes, I'm one of the people that used to say, I don't like Jordan 1 Lowe's, and guess what? I like them now. And it doesn't matter. It's totally fine. Everybody is allowed to change their opinion. But I am really liking the low top version of these. It looks like more of a summer shoe, and summer is right around the corner. Now, that doesn't mean I don't like the high tops. I think they look awesome. I would love to have the high top version. And so that rounds out number two and number three on the list, the Dior Jordan 1 in the high as well as the low top version. Now let me go ahead and give you guys a small hint as to what's coming in the next few weeks. One of these shoes on the list, at least one of them, I'm going to have an early pair that is 100% authentic, real authentic, and it's going to be one of these on the list. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. You do not wanna miss the upcoming videos. Next up on the list is going to be the Off-White Jordan 1 in the canary yellow colorway. Now this shoe's been seen at Virgil's museum exhibition for the last few months, and it's a shoe that everybody has wanted to release. And it looks like in 2020, we are all going to get that wish granted. This will be the fourth Jordan 1 and Off-White collaboration to release. And honestly, I would rank it higher than maybe two of the ones that already released. And honestly, this could be the second or third best one that we've seen. I definitely think it's better than the EUs. To me, they're just boring. And I would rival this one against the UNCs. I think pretty much on everybody's list, the Chicago's are number one. And this Canary Yellow could come in at number two, which would mean that it is going to be very, very expensive to purchase. Now, of course, the retail price will come in under $200. However, that resale price is going to be wild. Even though recent off-white releases have been widespread, very easy to pick up, even sitting on shelves at the local Nike store here in Atlanta, we all know that Jordan 1s will always be the most limited. And on a big collaboration like this, every single person is gonna have 35 sneakers accounts trying to get a pair. We still don't have a confirmed release date on these. However, I totally expect this to be a spring or summer release as well. Rounding out the number five most expensive sneaker on my list is going to be the Travis Scott Nike Dunk SB. Now, whether you love him or you hate him, you cannot deny that Travis Scott is one of the most influential people in the sneaker game over the last two years. After bringing us the high and low version of the Jordan 1, as well as the Jordan 4 and several Air Force One models, Travis has moved on to the resurgence of the Nike SB Dunk with his own Cactus Jack rendition. We are getting more and more looks at this shoe on Instagram and social media. Travis has been seen wearing them in music videos, as well as to NBA games. According to the rumors, we're expected to see this shoe in March, and right now the early prices are absolutely insane. The cheapest pair on StockX right now is about two grand, which is nuts. Like the cheapest pair right now is $2,000. And I know, I know it's an early shoe, but that is crazy to spend that much money. And that's not even that bad compared to the other prices. Most sizes range anywhere from five to 20 grand. But I guess if you want that early flex, you've got to put up the cheddar. And that's going to round out my top five most hyped or most expensive shoes of 2020. Now, of course, there's several other shoes that will be very expensive as well. And so I've got an honorable mention list, the Off-White Jordan 5. That shoe is going to be very expensive, very sought after. There's already a couple videos, I think, on YouTube. I know Tom did a comprehensive review on that shoe already. Also, the Travis Scott Air Max 270 React. And I know you're thinking Travis Scott again, really, but all of his shoes have done so well in the sneaker market. There's no reason to think that this one won't do big numbers as well. Also, two Jordans that are releasing this year are the Jordan 3 UNC as well as the Jordan 5 Oregon. Now, unfortunately, we're not getting the school branding on them, which is 
like 90% of why people want it. But we are getting the colorway. And I still think even without the school branding on them, these shoes will be limited and they're going to resell for a lot of money. It might even be a sneakers draw only, but those are two shoes to also pay attention to this year. And if you haven't seen my top 10 sneakers to resell, click the link in the description below or click right here in the top right corner. And that's going to round out today's video, guys. Make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe because there are some bangers coming this year. Thank you guys and I will see you next Monday.